The age of drones has begun, and their use is advancing rapidly. With better-than-ever performance and low-cost power-saving operation, many new logistics services are expected to be realized soon. The new Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization, or NATO, is working hard to develop the next generation of drones and their control systems in a project called Drones and Robots for Ecologically Sustainable Societies, or DRESS. What is NATO's vision for a society served by drones? NATO anticipates the formation of drone corridors between major cities, linking logistics nodes in each. Goods will travel along these corridors, loaded on large drones. Closer to the city's residential areas, smaller drones will be flown, performing a variety of services. These smaller drones will do much more than make deliveries. Remote control drones will be used to patrol spread out facilities, deter trespassing, and control accidental fires. Each drone will be equipped with safe autonomous control features, preventing it from colliding with other drones or with manned aircraft at low altitudes. When disasters occur, these autonomously controlled drones will be flown safely in the same airspace as manned helicopters, surveying the damage and ferrying in relief supplies. The DRESS project's mission is to make this future a reality. NATO is conducting R&D and demonstration testing to develop two key systems. A flight control system, which will enable large numbers of logistical drones to be flown in the skies above cities and residential areas. And a collision avoidance system, which will enable drones and manned helicopters to fly in the same airspace without fear of colliding. So what exactly does this development of flight control systems involve? Flight control systems for autonomous flying drones differ according to the services each drone provides. In the near future, we anticipate that these varying types of drones will be flown in the same airspace. In that expectation, NATO is developing a flight control system that can integrate and centrally control multiple flight plans. Our approach is to transmit the cartographic, meteorological, and other information necessary for flight across the entire airspace, while subsuming the various coexisting flight control systems under a single integrated flight control function. In so doing, NATO expects to achieve safe, collision-free flight, even for craft beyond the visual line of sight. This system will provide highly precise three-dimensional map information including details such as the dimensions and heights of individual buildings. A specialized 3D map database for drones will be provided based on this information. One issue with drones is that they are vulnerable to adverse weather conditions, such as rain and wind. To address this problem, observational information and weather forecasts will be provided in real time using Doppler LiDARs and sensors. To test a flight control system serving multiple operators in the same airspace, NATO conducted demonstration tests in the airspace above the Fukushima robot test field. Ten drones were flown which carried out four types of operations. Disaster area surveys, security patrols, logistics, and postal services, all at the same time. When the flight paths of two drones overlapped, the integrated flight control function automatically revised the flight plans. Takeoff and landing permissions were managed based on observed weather conditions. In this way, NATO succeeded in controlling the drones of a wide range of operators, handling a diverse range of features and services safely and securely. Now let's take a look at collision avoidance systems. Today, manned aircraft and drones fly in different airspaces, separated by altitude and other parameters. For example, rescue helicopters fly at low altitudes. If drones are outfitted with autonomous collision avoidance features, they will be able to fly safely in the same airspace as rescue helicopters. 
The DRESS project aims to develop collision avoidance systems that realize this goal. NATO has tested just such a system. After developing a collision avoidance system incorporating an array of state-of-the-art sensors, NATO hypothesized a number of scenarios under which unmanned craft would have to avoid each other or avoid collisions with manned helicopters. We then tested the drone's ability to use sensors to observe and avoid other craft in close proximity. Avoiding mid-air collisions requires accurate measurements of altitude. NATO accomplished this by combining a quasi-zenith satellite system that provides accurate altitude measurements with detectors and other sensors. In this demonstration test, drones were flown on paths mimicking avoidance behavior to confirm the operation of the collision avoidance system. NATO expects a steady stream of new types of drones to be developed around the world in the years to come. Multiple flight control systems will coexist. To ensure that these diverse systems can navigate the same airspace safely, NATO will make publicly available Application Programming Interfaces, or APIs, for these flight control systems. We are also looking into proposals for inclusion of these systems in international standards, as we aim for a world in which everyone can fly drones safely and with peace of mind. NATO believes that air flight innovations such as these will help bring about Society 5.0, the data-driven world of tomorrow.